it's a beautiful day and we are going for a walk let's go for a walk let's just see brought my selfie stick with me and my camera but I'm actually more comfortable I mean I guess right now I just feel more comfortable holding holding my phone and I'm just going to walk around do one little lap around and then we'll be done for the day I usually ride my bike, you know, at the house. And of course, the kids and I come to the park all the time. And I just didn't feel like riding my bike today. Um, it's a pretty day. It's overcast. Uh, yesterday, I think, well, two days ago when me and the kids came to the park, it was very sunny and the skies were really blue and you know but this is a pretty day too so I'm just going to walk around and um, you know sometimes I just want to come out and just you know have a moment I was going to come after I took my son to work, but uh, he has to be at work at five today. And I just didn't want to wait until, so, but you know, I come out on these walks and I'm reminded of just how beautiful nature is, how beautiful this state is, and you know, and Today is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. And I'm glad in it. I had a situation earlier today where I had two Amazon deliveries. And one was dropped off, you know, as it should be. And then the other one was dropped off like early this morning around 6 o'clock around 6 a.m. in the parking lot on the ground and so that really had me bothered like seriously had me bothered and I had to get myself emotionally together and focus like you know it's okay things happen and there's a remedy there is a remedy you know nine times out of ten I can get her you know get my money refunded and I did order you know place another order because I need it you know it's my envelopes for shipping my eBay and Macari and Poshmark uh, packages so I need it and so you know once I got over that little disappointment you know I'm you know just 
my anger about it. You know, I have to remind myself of just how remind myself of just how much I have to be thankful for which is plenty which is plenty my husband's doing better business is doing better and you know with business especially when you work for yourself for me there are ups and downs there's highs and lows ebbs and flows you know and I'm grateful that God always gets us through all of it. So, it's very comfortable out here today. It is not hot, it's not too sunny. And let's tackle these steps. You ever have a a list of things that you want God to do for you? You feel like you need God to do for you, but then he does it his way in his timing. And you're you you actually experience the breakthrough, but it didn't happen the way you were hoping. That's happened to me many times in my life. And <sighs> look at that view. Very nice. The kids and I were here a couple of days ago and right on the other side of that fence is the schoolyard. And as we walked this way, the little kids, little girls were, you know, excited to see us passing by. They wanted to show us their little dance routine. And it made me think about me and my cousins. We used to make up songs and make up dance routines. And then as we were getting towards the end of the fence, the little girls were trying to get us to stop and they wanted us to rate them and of course we cheered and you know I gave them a 10 and when I got towards the end of the fence you know my mama uh, me being a mother kicked in and I told them okay y'all go back you know to walk towards the end of this fence because I don't want you to get in trouble and they did and uh so I'll go down this way. And <sighs> but you know, back to God moving for you, you know, preparing things for you, working things out for your good, but it doesn't happen the way you figured, the way you calculated. And it's just a reminder, you know, especially when that happens to me. It is a reminder that, you know, I'm not supposed to box God in. You know, that's not how we should you know maneuver that's not how we should process that's not how we should be thinking you we need to lay you know our concerns before him and however he decides to work it out you know we will be fine he knows exactly what we need he knows all the angles. He sees the big picture. He's above it all. 
and he can work it out for us so much better than we can so much better never in a million years with everything that has happened in my life did I ever think that my family would be living in Denver Colorado if someone had you know posed the question what three places you know would you think to move to Colorado would not have made it on the list Colorado would not have even made it on my top 10 but here we are and it looks good on us and and I say it that way because so many people family members relatives friends online that's their exact words that you know even with certain things you know happening it looks good on us so for us to just be grateful you know and we are but sometimes you have to remind yourself of just how awesome God is in terms of how his plan has come together for us you know it's amazing what God can do it really is amazing and as often as I can I want to share that with anybody who will listen you know because his love for me is not just his love for me he loves his children he loves you and he doesn't just want to work things out for me he wants to work things out for you whatever your circumstances whatever your situation he wants to work it out and he is able to do so and he's eager he has the power he has the power to do so I like these little trees I don't know what they are though they got some type of little berries on them they just remind me of like the, the pip berries I don't know what they're called but every Every time I pass by, they catch my eye. They just catch my eye every time I pass by. <sighs> All right, so we're more than halfway around. And so I'll be back to the car soon. But... You know, is there something that you were hoping God would do for you one way and he decided to do it another way and you have to admit that it was better? His way was better than what you put together, than what you imagined? I would like to know. I had to do some research the other day and I realized that oh look at the duck look at the little ducky
I realized that, and I should have known this, especially from being at home. I should have known. Let's see, let me make it through this little rough spot. Make sure I'm looking down so I don't step in anything. I think I'm through the thick of it, so I'll turn back around so you can see what's going on in front of me. So, of course, the kids love to come to the park. They love to see the ducks. They love to see the geese. And like I was about to say, I should know because I usually am big on researching this type of thing, that it is against the law, it is illegal to feed wildlife, to feed the geese. And you could, you know, you could be fined. And they see, you know, I've read that, you know, you give them bread and there's some type of, it can create some type of bacteria or something like that. And so what they're doing now, you know, finding their own food, you know, that's just how you're supposed to let it happen and not, not feed them, even though you may be tempted to do so and, you know, you think it's fun, but yeah, so these trees are so beautiful. The colors are amazing. Just amazing. Another thing too about living in Denver, Colorado is you have to realize just how much the, there's a difference between, you know, the weather and the things that you are experiencing and what's actually happening, happening right now in the mountains. Like right now, they are, they've already had like a snowstorm and they're expecting another snowstorm you know where we might just get some rain maybe we might just get some rain so but we'll see and i just want to thank you for uh, clicking you know and watching i really appreciate it and um I just hope that everybody has a wonderful week, you know, that things work out for you. Things work the way that you hope that they would. And until next time, be sweet, be grateful, and stay optimistic.